Hey guys, so I've had some people ask me how I spray paint my furniture and um, how to not get it to drip and how to get it to look decent and whatnot. So I'm going to show you the chair I'm going to do. Um, it's just an Ikea chair. My mom actually got this for Trevor when I was pregnant with him. So it's been around for a good um, nine years. It's pretty beat up and worn out a little bit, but it's just going to, I'm going to clean it up. And I got this Allen wrench. I'm going to take it apart. I already have this off. And then um, I'm just going to take it apart so that way when I spray paint, I'm not going to be getting this part of the chair. And I'm going to try to get it to match as close as I can to the crib that we have. Um, that's Jackson's new crib. So I'm going to go ahead and get started by taking it apart first. Okay, guys. I have it pretty much taken apart. I'm not going to take it apart all the way um, because... You're not going to be able to tell um, that I didn't paint the end pieces. So I'm just going to paint it like this. This is the most important part to getting it to look decent. Get some fine grit sandpaper and sand down every inch that needs to be painted. If you don't do this, the spray paint's not going to adhere to it very well. It's going to drip, it's going to peel off, it's going to break, it's going to crack or whatever. So go ahead and get that done and I'm not going to be too overly picky on this piece because like I said it is nine years old. Um, it's not something that we, my kids really use, it just kind of sits there. Um, every once in a blue moon someone will sit on it but <laughs> it's not like the main focus so I'm just going to kind of do a quick job on this and show you. But I'm going to go ahead and sand it down now. Okay, after it's sanded down completely just get a dry rag, a clean rag and wipe off all the um, dust and everything from it and then we're going to go ahead and get started with the painting process so just wipe it all down um i don't have gloves on me i usually have like latex gloves but i do have these so i'm just going to use these today um but yeah wipe it down and then um you can get started all right i have it all sanded and all wiped down um, the paint I'm using is by Rust-Oleum. This is my favorite brand of spray paint. Um, the color I'm using is Kona Brown with a little gloss on it. Since the crib and the changing table both have a little bit of gloss on it, I just decided to do that one instead of matte. Plus I have left over from when I did some other projects in the house. Um, since I did do some other projects in the house, I know this is a pretty close match to the color I need. So you're just going to make sure to shake it up really good. And then when you spray it, I'm not going to do it because I want to make sure I'm doing a good job. <laughs> but I'm not going to. You're going to press your finger down and do one swift mo motion like that. And you're going to, once you get over here, you're going to release your finger. And then you're going to do that back and release. And back and release. And back and release. Um, if you're doing a larger piece, it's easy to want to just go like this. Don't do that. That's when you're going to start getting puddles and runs and things like that. Just take your time and do one solid motion, one solid motion, back and forth. And keep doing that until it's all done. Alright, so I have the first step done. And it takes 20 minutes before I can handle it and an hour before you can use it. And 20 hour, or 24 hours before you can vigorously use it. So I'm gonna wait the 20 minutes, and then I will flip it, and I will do the other side. Then I'll wait about an hour to two hours, and I'll put it back together. All right, I have the other side done now, so now what I'm gonna do is just wait for it to dry, and then I will double check, make sure I don't need to do any touch-ups, and then I will reassemble it and put it back in his room. Anyway, guys, as you can see, it is done. Um, I'd say the color is pretty darn close to the crib. Um, and yeah, it matches nicely now. Um, I'm just going to take that off and wash it and be done with it. So anyway, that's all. Bye guys.